Shalom family, coming right now, right after Bible study, to just to share um, some of the words of God. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lambs and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamp but did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oils, oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom has okay, the bridegroom was a long time coming, and they became drowsy and fell asleep at midnight. The cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. No, they replied. There may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some to go. Buy some for yourself. Sorry. But while they were on their way to buy oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others came. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, truly, I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. The next scripture I'm going to read is going to be Revelations 19, 7 through 9. There we go. 7 through 9 says, Let us rejoice and be glad and give him glory for the wedding. of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready fine linen bright and clean was given to her to wear fine linen stands for the righteous acts of god's holy people then the angel said unto me write this blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the lamb and he added these are the true words of god and a reference to Galatians chapter 3. So let me get there. Kind of overshot it, but it's okay. Galatians chapter 3, verse 26 and 27. It says... So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourself with Christ. So also that, that talks about clothing yourself in Christ. And righteous acts. Matthew 28, 18 through 20. Which I know a lot of you know this by heart, so. Sorry. Matthew Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. 
And then the last scripture I have is Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1. Verse 4. Be right there. On one occasion, while he was eating with them, he gave them this command Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift of the gift my father promised, which you have heard me speak about. For John baptized with water, but in few in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Then they gathered around him and asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or dates the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and Samaria and at the end of the earth ends of the earth after he said this he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight they were looking intently up into the sky as he was going when he suddenly when suddenly two men dressed in white stood before the men of galilee they said why do you stand here looking into the sky the same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. Then the apostles return to Jerusalem from the hill called the Mount of Olives, a Sabbath day walk from the city. When they arrived, they went upstairs to the room where they were staying. Those presented, those present were Peter, John, James, and Andrew, Philip, and Thomas, Bartholomew, and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, the son of James. They all joined together constantly in prayer along with the women and Mary the mother of Jesus and his brothers. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers, a group numbering about 120, and said, Brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas, who served as a guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was one of our numbers and shared in our ministry. With this payment he received for his wickedness, Judas bought a field. There he fell headlong, his body burst open, and his intestines spilled out. Everyone in Jerusalem heard about this, and so they called the field in their language, Ageldama, that is, the field of blood. So, with all the good, they also acknowledge all of the bad. That is something that is missing in everyday life, I believe. My opinion, we always want to look at all the good. But we're afraid to speak anything negative. When this obviously shows that they didn't have that fear. I think all of these scriptures are tied in to how the Lord wants the body of Christ to be his believers. Some of the things that he has shown me in the last few weeks in our Bible study is worship in spirit and truth. How to become his believers. God will meet us where we're at. God will feed us according to our hunger. The issue is, how hungry are you for the righteousness and for the anointing of the Holy Spirit? I love you. I wish you 
safety, protection, good health, and peace. Shalom.